Some businesses, believe it or not, are having trouble filling open job positions. Sounds impossible with so many people out of work, but despite a 9.5% unemployment rate, it's a startling reality. In tonight's Economy Watch, News 10's Louisa Muller finds out what could be keeping some folks from going back to work. Yes. Latalia Maxwell Askew has collected unemployment since January. That's when she lost her job at the Sony plant in Terre Haute. Back then, she was making $360 a week. Now she gets 233. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do to try to survive and maintain. But despite a pay cut, Latalia says it would be a difficult decision to accept a lower paying job, especially when she can rely on her unemployment benefits. If you say minimum wage, which is the minimum wage now is what, $750, 755 compared to nine dollars, that's a big difference. The maximum you can make in unemployment benefits is three hundred and ninety dollars a week, which if that were a job would boil down to nine dollars and seventy five cents an hour. So for some folks, it could make it more difficult to accept a lower paying job. Economists say that's why some businesses are having trouble hiring. This absolutely happens. It is the reason that when you extend unemployment compensation, that you experience a one to two day delay in finding a job for every week that you extend uh, the unemployment compensation. Plus, the job market has changed. Companies slashed middle wage jobs to stay afloat. Now a lot of workers fall in two categories, underqualified or unwilling to accept lower pay. It's not easy. It, it, it's really not easy. But Latalia says she will do whatever it takes to feed her family. Reporting in Terre Haute, Louisa Moeller, News 10. For more information on local job opportunities, visit our website at WTHITV.com.